Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Wednesday hoped for a decisive outcome in upcoming discussions on the provision of long-range weapons, emphasizing the importance of these systems for Ukraine's defense. Speaking at the annual Crimean Platform event in Kiev, Zelensky also said he wanted support for a plan that would force Russia to end the war diplomatically. The plan is to significantly strengthen Ukraine, he said, adding it would need to be presented before a second international peace summit intended for later this year. If our partners support it, it will certainly help Ukraine compel Russia to end the war, Zelensky said. For months, Ukraine has been requesting approval to use long-range weapons from the United States and Western allies to strike targets in Russia, and is expected to press harder given Russia's latest reported weapons acquisition from Iran. Zelensky stressed that talks with U.S. President Joe Biden, scheduled for later this month, will be crucial, noting that American support, both military and financial, remains vital to Ukraine's ability to resist Russian aggression. This war is growing ever more brutal and dangerous. By choosing the path of crime in 2014, Russia has forsaken its place within the international community and every year has sunk deeper in, into a self-made hole. Today, we are here to help Ukraine. Lithuania will never recognize the occupation and illegal annexation of Crimea and other Ukrainian territories. We will always demand that Russia starts respecting the international law, stops persecuting the population of occupied territories, including the Crimean Tatars, and withdraws to internationally recognized borders, ending this 10-year war. Because of that, that Croatia could become a target for a Russian a malign hybrid, any kind of... Uh... Latvia will continue to support Ukraine. This and the following years, Latvia's annual military support to Ukraine will be 0.25% of our GDP. Today, we introduce our third military support package for this year, and that will include military equipment and supplies, including company size armored vehicles and drones. And definitely, we will continue training and equipping more than 4,000 Ukrainian soldiers this year and next year. We are already preparing our next package of 2025, and I can say that it will include Patria vehicles, uh, drones, equipment, and training as well. Ви сказали про те, що хотіли б його презентувати обом кандидатам президента США. Чи домовилися вже про зустріч з Our position is very clear, and that's why we have extensively multiple packages over the last two and a half years militarily helped substantially Ukraine. We shall continue to, with our contribution, strengthen its defense capacities because only the one that is strong can defend itself and liberate its occupied territories. At the same time, as the rest of the international community, especially the West, we are willing to support the peace initiatives which will bring peace, but not any peace, just peace that respects territorial integrity of Ukraine. That is what Croatia was standing for when it was her own destiny at stake th three decades ago, and that is the only message we can send as a friend to Ukraine today. The question about possibility to uh, let Ukraine use uh, uh, long... It's a plan посилення, серйозне посилення України, і на мою думку буде мати до речі, і психологічний, і політичний, і різного характеру щодо озброєння вплив на рішення Росії закінчити цю війну. 
Цей план обов'язково повинен був презентований до другого саміту миру для того, щоб примусити Росію до дипломатичного закінчення війни. Якщо партнери підтримують його, він полегшить Україні, точно полегшить Україні примусити Росію до закінчення війни. Це якщо про загальні речі. Щодо розмови з росіянами. Щоб розмовляти з росіянами, повинен хтось мати повноваження. Я особисто нікому повноваження такі не надавав. Ось, окей. Ось, окей.